Thank you to the LC Commit for giving me the opportunity to present our work uh, about hydrogen cyanide and hydrogen cyanide polymer um, pre possible prebiotic precursors of bionarganite. Uh, note that our work is analytical and that our main interest is to get uh, a better understanding about the uh, complex nature of the hydrogen cyanide polymers. These substances are important in the file of prebiotic uh, chemistry, cosmochemistry, and in general in astrobiology, but also in material science as uh, coating materials with potential uh, biomedical application. Uh, in this talk, we will see uh, some aspects related uh, to the fascinating water chemistry of hydrogen cyanide uh, or a, a hydrocyanic uh, acid. Sorry. The, uh, the hydrogen cyanide is a ubiquitous molecule in the universe. This molecule is observed in, plan in interstellar clouds, starting formation region, planetary nebula, interplanetary dust, comets, and meteorites. And the planetary contents is, uh, has been observed in the atmosphere of Titan, the largest moon of Saturn, and in the air, in the gas mixture of the, from the volcanic eruption and uh, in the thermal vents. Also, hydrogen cyanide will be present in the atmosphere of the early Earth. Besides, hydrogen cyanide is the major product when the appropriate gas mixture are activated with an external energy sources, such as electric discharge, UV radiation, or short wave. On the other hand, a prebiotic reactant is a compound uh, that is available in adequate concentration on the primitive air or air solvent, and it can be leased to the formation of other more complex molecules by compatible reaction with the geochemical and geophysical constraints of a particular environment. Therefore, due to this uh, whole availability and high radioactivity, the hydrogen cyanide can be considered an excellent prebiotic reagent. The hydrogen cyanide polymers can be spontaneously obtained from hydrogen cyanide of its his soluble sign ammonium cyanide or potassium cyanide in the presence of ammonia or triethylamine. Or working uh, basic pH in rain uh, from 8 to 10, or in the presence of free radical from ionization radiation. The spontaneous polymerization can over a uh, over wide range of temperature and present in both uh, polar water on a polar hydrocarbon solvents on surface. In addition, the synthesis of the hydrogen cyanide polymer from formamide and the thermal treatment has also been reported. Recently, the hydrogen cyanide polymer was synthesized from the trimer, amino manolitride, or from the tetramer, the amino manolitride. Uh, Indeed, it is possible to obtain hydrogen cyanide polymer and the dry condition from the heating uh, of them. Therefore, the synthesis of hydrogen cyanide polymer is apparently a robust process that occurs under multiple experimental conditions. The hydrogen cyanide polymer are heterogeneous ranging, heterogeneous solids, sorry, ranging in color from yellow to orange to br uh, brown to uh, black, depending on the degree of polymerization and cross-linking. The final, pro the final pro produce of all reaction an amorphous black uh, solid, insoluble in water and with very transparent solubility in common organic uh, solvent. The hydrogen cyanide polymer also present a broad distribution of molecular weight, a highly chair structure. This characteristic renders the full structural characterization of this macromolecular system particularly difficult. The structure of the hydrogen cyanide polymer has not been fully characterized and remains controversial due to their complex and heterogeneous nature. 
In any case, the structure of the nature of the hydrogen cyanide polymers depend uh, dearly on the experimental synthetic conditions used for the production, and actually, it's difficult uh, to establish a good comparative between properties of these complex substances and the experimental uh, conditions used uh, for the synthesis. In a particular case, two main sets of, sp of experimental conditions for the polymerization of the hydrogen cyanide were explored. The first ones, a static uh, experiment using a pool of liquid water. In this case, the synthesis were carried out without any kind of stirring. All experiments about hydrogen cyanide polymerization previously uh, reported were made in this way. And the second one, uh, water aerosol experiment using an active aerosol cycle. We explored the role of the aqueous aerosol in this reaction because the aqueous aerosol has been proposed as a prebiotic uh, reactor. Uh, also, the valvular aerosol double uh, cycle uh, uh, could be active in the Archean airport. Also, differences in the reactivity between bulk water in any physical state and water present in air water interface are expected. A small organic molecules tend to concentrate in the water air interface and also is expected an increase in surface phenomena. And there is a preferential orientation of their reagents in the drop. And the surface of aqueous aerosol is acidic. Uh, and finally, the formation of biopolymers in no enzymatic prebiotic scenario could be favored. In the last year, there is a growing risk in reaction seed with the origin of fly and the water interface and the world reported uh, by Vida, Donaldson, Took, and Dogson are uh, remarkable in this file. Back to the issue of the complex nature of the hydrogen cyanide polymer in this picture, uh, uh, are some the more recent model to try to explain the structure of the hydrogen cyanide polymer. Here, the model proposed by uh, He, Mamahanov, and Ertel, uh, Minar, and uh, Matthews, and also by us, are represented. However, independently of this other structure of the hydrogen cyanide polymer, it's well known that important beyond monomer of the other organic are delivered when the polymer of hydrogen cyanide are, uh, are hydrolyzed. Thus, uh, numerous studies carried out over the last 50 years to define the molecules present in the hydrogen cyanide polymer. In this area, as notable the work uh, carried out by the groups of Ferry, Orgel, Oro, Miller, Minar, Matthews, eh, and Negron Mendoza. However, as in the case of the strata of the hydrogen cyanide polymers, comparing the structure, uh, the products, sorry, the product obtained under different reaction conditions or different analytical process is difficult. In other words, the organic detected in the hydrogen cyanide polymers depend directly on the experimental condition of polymerization of the hydrogen cyanide, uh, radiance, temperature, concentration, in detail, pH, and so, but also the hydrolysis condition and the analytical techniques used for the identification on the compounds, GCNS, ELS, PLC, or other spectroscopic techniques. Here we can see a summary of the diverse organic that can be identified in hydrogen cyanide polymers until 2030. In hydrogen cyanide polymer have been identified important bioorganics such as uh, amino acids and uh, heterocycle containing uh, nitrogen, such as irantoins, purines, imidazoles, and um, pyridines. Um, uh, more recently, carboxylic acid implicates in the RTCA uh, cycle, and one tyridine found very group in 2012. This tyridine was found and the particular synthetic, uh, synthetic and hydrolysis condition are uh, using GCNFs as technique to identify it. Uh, the hydrolysis uh, condition was chosen because these conditions are typical in prebiotic uh, chemistry, since the first experiments of Miller and Oro, and these conditions are usually used in the hydrolysis um, 
um, proteins. This tyridin was uh, finally identified by us or using our data base, basic mass spectra need to uh, find a future um, by an external standard. Using this database mass spectra, only this tyridin could be identified. Uh, before continuing with the result of work, we are going to see why the tyridines at their prebiotic synthesis are important. There are three main class of, uh, of tyridine, uh, of natural tyridines. Lumazine, isaloxacin, and um, tyridine. Tyridine derivatized has a variety of important biological roles as pigment, one can work transfers cardboard, and redox uh, cofactor. Despite uh, being essential for modern metabolic pathways, little attention has been given to the role of coenzyme players in the early years. Multiple studies exist on the geochemical conditions that affect transmetal availability and the response of organisms in utilization transmetal based on uh, their availability. A similar set of studies is lacking for coenzyme, and these are particularly scarce when discussing the production of tyridines. So, I only could find three examples about the prebiotic synthesis of tyridine. Generation of tyridines and flavin-like compounds from dry heating of amino acids and the identification of a structure like tyridine by GC NS analysis after thermochemolysis of hydrogen cyanide polymer. Therefore, our finding of a tyridine in a hydrogen cyanide polymer was really promising at the point of view of probiotic chemistry. And also, our finding of a tyridine in hydrogen cyanide polymer was in agreement with the proposal made by a semorcer Lovental uh, several years ago. This author suggests hydrocyanic origin of some cofactors, sanax, folic acid, and um, riboflavin. Both compounds are tyridine derivatides. The general hypothesis is that some tyridine derivatides can be formed from hydrogen cyanide. Thus, our previous result together with the hypothesis suggested by the semorcer a low mental encouraged to carry out to analyze in deep several hydrogen cyanide polymers synthesized and hydrolyzed under different conditions. So, a little careful analysis of the same chromatogram so above and searching for the molecular anion or several trimethylsilin derivatides of tyridine leads to the detection uh, of 3-hydroxytyridine but also to isotyridine, tyridine, leucotyridine, lumazine, and tetrahydroxytyridine. In addition, we synthesized another hydrogen cyanide polymer, but the reaction was conducted in the absence of oxygen using a nitrogen uh, uh, atmosphere, experiment A. In this case, the insoluble polymer was hydrolyzed under the same acting condition, condition described above, and similar results were obtained with respect to the control experiment. You can see here. We also assigned the production of tyridine in the presence of aqueous aerosols, experiment B and C. In this table, you can see that the, uh, that the gills for pretyridines from experiment B and C are lower compared with the static experiment. Because aqueous aerosol do not favor the production of insoluble HCN uh, polymer. However, the ratio between the gills of pyridines and purines is greater for the aerosol experiment. Thus, the aqueous aerosol increases the relative percent amount of tyridine with respect to the purines. As I commented before, the gills obtained for monomers synthesized from the polymerization of cyanide depend dearly on the hydrolysis condition of the sample. Thank you, uh, taking this fact into account and considering that this uh, 3 hydroxytyridine can be obtained for the heating of isosatotyridine in the presence of uh, uh, chloride acid, 
we additionally uh, study the effect of our added hydrolysis condition over tridine standard. Thus, we check the effect of the added hydrolysis condition on isosaptopterin as is isomer, saptopterin, tyrine, and leucopterin. We found that isosaptopterin is almost converted to dihydroxytyrine. Saptopterin is totally discomposed. Tyridine is uh, partially deaminated and gives lumazine, and leucopterin is partially decomposed to gel tetrahydroxytyridine, anxantine, and other unidentified compounds. <coughs> Borka co worker studied the hydrolysis of hydrogen cyanide polymer at pH uh, 8. We may be more a model of pre, a reasonable model of primitive oceanic condition. Also, the oceanic uh, PAs of the early age remain controversial issue. Some authors provide arguments for, for a relative constancy of PAs. The oceanic PX of the model Earth is approximately uh, 8. Thus, the insoluble HCN, um, sorry, hydrogen cyanide polymer obtained from the experiment uh, A was hydrolysis using the hydrolysis uh, condition described by Borkett and Kogwerke. In this case, uh, tyridine is of saptopterin, saptopterin, and leucopterin were detected in relatively high yield. No oxidation products, loma signs, were observed. Therefore, the formation of glomazine is a direct consequence of the oxidation of tyridine due to the acid hydrolysis condition use. However, when the supernatant from the experiment uh, C uh, was hydrolysis uh, using neutral uh, condition, new compounds were uh, identified. Not only tyridine were observed, but also triacines and uh, fatty uh, acids. The presence of triacine in, in, in hydrogen cyanide polymers is interesting because it opens a new route for the prebiotic synthesis beyond of the pathway discrete uh, by our group using urea's prebiotic regime. Under the prebiotic point of view, triacines are interesting because they have been suggested an alternative nucleobases uh, in the pre rna uh, world. Later, I'll comment the formation and presence of fatty acid in hydrogen cyanide polymers. In any case, here we have a clear example that the identification of bioorganic compounds in hydrogen cyanide polymer is sensitive both the synthetic condition for the production of polymer and hydrolysis condition, and also that the alcohol aerosol have a great uh, influence in the hydrogen cyanide polymerization as it was expected. In this picture, a hypothetical pathway of formation of tyridine from cyanide, cyanide polymerization is so based on the Gabriel Isai condensation. The four five diaminopyrimidine undergo cycloaddition uh, with one, two decarbonyl uh, compounds to four tyridines. As a general conclusion about the identification of tyridine in hydrogen cyanide polymer, we can say that tyridines cannot be considered as molecular fossil because their backbone can be synthesized under possible prebiotic condition. In the second part of this talk, I would like to address some aspects related to the scenario of glossilato proposed by SMR and a recent result in this topic used ACOS aerosol. In the glaciot light scenario, the glossilate, the glossilate and the formal dimmer, the hydroxyfumarate, are suggested to be the central starting material for a, uh, of a chemical constitution of a possible primordial metabolism, serving as a starter reactant for the most formation of other organic compounds with biological interest, such as sugar, and uh, RTCA carboxylic uh, acid by reaction dimmed to the compatible with the constraints of prebiotic chemistry. 
The work made by Krishnamurti Group are the only sample I could find about the experimental condition for the proposal of SMORSIA. In the glossolate scenario, the stem compounds is hydrogen cyanide. So we explored an experimental approach to check the glossolate scenario through several synthesis of hydrogen cyanide polymer, paying particular attention to the role of the aqueous aerosol, together with the statistical method. For this study, a total, a total of 32 experimental conditions were explored. The starting reactant, the reaction time, the presence of aqueous aerosol, the presence of salt and oxygen were evaluated for the production of polar organic compounds. Here, we can see the polar organic compounds identified in this new uh, hydrogen cyanide polymer by GC and EPS. All the polar organic compounds we, uh, were identified after high acid hydrolysis of the sample are using the deverization method mentioned above. In this work, not only the insoluble uh, hydrogen cyanide polymer were uh, analyzed, but also the supernatants were studied. Uh, not at all compounds uh, were found in all samples. As it was expected, their prevalence uh, was dependent on the experimental condition of synthesis. A detailed analysis of the GCNS chromatograms and the synthetic conditions together with a redundancy, co uh, redundancy correspondence analysis study confirm that the presence of aqueous aerosol increased notably the diversity of organic found in hydrogen cyanide polymers independently of the other experimental condition. In the particular case of the glyoxylic acid, this compound was preferentially identified in insoluble hydrogen cyanide polymers synthesized in the presence of aqueous aerosol and ammonia under an inner atmosphere and using pure water. Semor proposed the glycolate uh, scenario suggesting a hypothetical relationship between uh, hydrogen cyanide and the constituent of the RTCI cycle. Here, so what in boxes. In this proposal, the hydrofumarate uh, could be formed by the hydrolysis of them. In this work, uh, no, uh, the hydroxyfumarate acid was identified. However, pyruvic acid, aniline, aspartic acid, glutamic acid, and also gliosylic uh, acid were identified by GCNS in good agreement with this emotional proposal. The formation of the amino acids could be explained as a reductive amination process as, it's <coughs> as it was suggested by the Semorsian. Taking into account this part of the glycylate uh, scenario in general, the identification of the glyoxylic acid, the sum constituent of the RTCI cycle, and the respective amino acids will be favored by the presence of aqueous aerosol. The compounds identified are sum in this scheme uh, were detected simultaneously in the hydrogen cyanide polymer synthesized uh, under this particular condition. In this, uh, in this scheme of the RTCI cycle, as shown in boxes, the compounds found in our world. Now, however, note that only C2 uh, C5 carboxylic acid were identified and that the autocatalytic structure of the RTCI cycle derived for the branched pointed associated with uh, citrate reclavate. Currently, uh, we are working to identify uh, specifically ketoacid and uh, thesis carboxylic acid, hydrogen cyanide polymer, and also uh, oscillatory reaction. This scan so a hypothetical relationship between the carboxylic acid identified by GCNS in our uh, hydrogen cyanide polymer. The starting point is the proposal made by Erce Morser in blue arrow to establish a hypothetical relationship between the carboxylic acid identified, identified by ICE. The main re reaction proposal for the interconnection between the different carboxylic acids 
as we practice carboxylation, carboxylation, carbonyl reduction, alkene reduction, dehydration, hydratation, oxidative, decarboxylation, and radical oxidation. The production of the carboxylic acids is to improve in the presence of aqueous aerosol. This result is in a good uh, agreement with our previous work in which the formation of carboxylic acid was always favored in the presence of aqueous aerosol. And also with the result reported by Donesal and co worker in some steps of the proposal of this scan are in implicate hydroxy, hydroxyl radicals. Yeah, ah, here. With our propensity uh, for the air water interface that manifests in the partition of the hydroxyl radical between the wool water and the surface. Likely due to this fact, we observed a uh, greater diversity in carboxylic acid in those. Uh, hydrogen cyanide polymer synthesized using aqueous aerosol. On the other hand, the synthesis of edantoins can also be explained using the gliosylic acid as a starting reactant. Again, the role of the aqueous aerosol is key for the identif identification of edantoins. The aloxanoid uh, acid was only identified in hydrogen cyanide polymer synthesized in the presence of aqueous aerosol. And the thinko hydroxy and, and the phi uh, hydroxy edantoin was preferentially identified in hydrogen cyanide polymer synthesized under uh, this, uh, those conditions. The dantoins are prebiotically interesting because they have been suggested as a precursor for the emergence of peptides and amino acids, and because the primitive in the microorganism of air. Uh, may have been able to use inantoins as sources of nitrogen uh, and carbon. Finally, the glycylic scenario also suggests the synthesis of sugar from the glycylic acid and this glycifumaric acid. Krishnamurti and co workers saw with that the production of sugar from the glycifumaric acids is favored at um, pH that is like alkaline. And our results indicate that the presence of aqueous aerosol have a negative correlation with the final pH of the cyanide polymerization reaction. From this starting point, we have synthesized a new uh, series of hydrogen cyanide polymer using aqueous uh, aerosol using a uh, different reaction time from one day to 30 days. Uh, in this new uh, experiment, the crude reactions were analyzed by sugar. Now that in this new analysis, we change the acid hydrolysis condition and the deriv derivatization method. This chromatogram is shown as an example of the new result. Using this uh, new analytical protocol for the workup of the sample, not only sugar was detected, but also both uh, fatty acid and monoglyceride uh, were identified. Also, the prebiotic production of fatty acids for from mammoths, the hydrolytic products of uh, hydrogen cyanide, has been recently reported by the group of Saladino. To our knowledge, is the first uh, time that uh, monoglyceride are found in this, type, in this type of synthesis. I would like to point out that the result uh, shown here are preliminary, also highly helpful. As a result of the resting synthetic uh, analytical work, a notable number of new important bioorganic compounds, such as uh, amino acid, uh, hydroxy acid, keto acid, uh, decarboxylic acid, fatty acid, idantoins, triacines, purines, tyridine, sugar, and monoglycerides has been found for the first time in hydrogen cyanide polymers. As a general conclusion, our finding together with the previous detection of other important bioorganisms indicate that hydrogen cyanide may be a key compound in the first step of the primeval evolution of the protometabolism and informational system. Uh, finally, I would like to thank uh, Margot, Cristina, and Patricia for the Python work in the synthesis holding and analysis of the hydrogen cyanide 
polymer and Elena Gonzalez Toril for her collaboration in the statistics study. Uh, is all. Thank you very much for your attention. Okay, thank you, Marta. That was a great talk. Um, we've got about 15 minutes now for questions, so, um, okay. Uh, Reina's hand shot up. <laughs> Got it, good. <laughs> well, thank you for this talk, and uh, just a lot of us know firsthand how important and how difficult this research into hydrogen cyanide polymers is. So congratulations on all your wonderful work. So my question has to do with pteridins. So, uh, like, if I'm just correct me if I'm wrong, but in most of your systems, you prepare your HCN polymer first and recover uh, the pteridins upon hydrolysis, and you have a mechanism. But I mean, it, it, it's at this point, it's uh, unclear whether you may make pteridins first and then they get fused into polymer or maybe you're making them upon hydrolysis. And I know it's just an open question, right? But can you speculate about some sort of conditions where you would stop polymerization at just pteridins and not, just, and not expand to this long polymer? And then just open question, of course, but maybe just you have some insight into this. Okay, Story. it's a very, very interesting question, but uh, I don't know because the uh, the hydrogen cyanide polymer is a uh, polymerization is a system really complex and is uh, like uh, life <laughs> <laughs> evolution with the time. I, I don't know. I know. I know a clear answer. Thank you, Betty. Uh. Uh, thanks for your talk. So I I have uh, so because you have achieved the synthesis of pterin. So have you tried to incorporate molybdenum or tungsten into uh, this ligand? I mean, because all the enzymes of molybdenum and the tungsten uh, tends to take pterin group as the main ligand. Uh, of course, there's a par paranol group, uh, I mean, the diethylene group. Have you tried to incorporate transition metal into, uh, by, negated by pterin? Introduce uh, what? Uh, I mean, uh, so there are many uh, molybdenum and tungsten uh, enzymes uh, take the pterin ligand as the main ligand. So I want to... No, I don't try it. Oh, okay. Thanks. Anyway, thanks. Mm. Thank you. Hi, Marta. Thanks. Uh, you've done a really nice job of expanding a lot of the synthetic work that was done by Oro Norgel on uh, into cofactors and also uh, in, by Eschenmoser into the metabolites. I'm just wondering how you, uh, b considering the fact that metabolism as we know it doesn't use HCN, I'm just curious how you envisage the steps that bring us from an HCN driven metabolism to a CO2 fixing metabolism. Can you, can you comment on how that transition occurs and why it occurs? Mm, repeat the question. What is the role of the hydrogen cyanide in? No, for <clears throat> so those same cofactors or those similar types of cofactors are not synthesized the same way in biosynthesis. They're made from amino acids rather than HCN. So the my question is, can you describe how you envisage that transition of things being made one way to being made a completely different way? Uh, what are, what are the steps that have to occur for that transition? I'm sorry, no, no. <laughs> So uh, just if I'm learning and doing a lot of prebiotic chemistry, it turns when you, you go into biological 
mechanism. So there's a lot of things that come into play, solubility of availability of intermediates. So in, just, in, in, in all of those ways, in biology, the mechanisms are somewhat weird, that some not, somewhat not optimal. So I'm thinking it's just to say something like that, a uh, formation of those uh, cofactor might be very late, you know, achievement of uh, evolution. Thank you for your talk. I, I, I was interested in the uh, gly glyoxylate uh, conversion, and uh, glyoxylate is uh, present in uh, present-day metabolism. So I was just wondering, I couldn't see the actual reactions, but are there enzymes now that uh, ac actually catalyze uh, some of the uh, conversions that you showed on your slide? A couple bit between Sorry. From glyoxylate, you were able to uh, convert to 2-oxo uh, acids and things? No. No? Okay. Not bad. <clears throat> Thanks. Very, very nice talk. Um, I'm wondering, so are you saying now you've found fatty acids in this reaction as well? Yes. Because there was a paper in, I think it was 1963, by Reason Markham. You've, you've probably seen it. Well, they were claiming they made fatty acids from ammonium cyanide. And everybody would say, well, you know, that can't be because there's no reasonable mechanism you can write to do all of those reductions and, and linear elongations, right? I'm wondering if you have some sense of how they might be made. Of, of the mechanism. Oh, the mecha oh, I don't know the, the mechanism. Uh, in the paper of Saladino, uh, they described uh, the finding of uh, fatty acids, but they, they, uh, they don't give uh, any, uh, any mechanism. Oh, so that, that's, that's their result, not your result? Yes. Oh, I see, I see, okay. Thank you. But in, in our case, uh, this is previous results and we are uh, studying. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the nice talk. I'm curious about the residence time or lifetime of, of prebiotically important bases in your reaction system. Do, did, you, uh, did you estimate the lifetime or residence time of um, bases, prebiotically important bases in the reaction system? Oh, no. Thank you. Uh, I saw someone on the other side of the room. Was that you, George? Or Oh, I saw a hand up there. OK. Um, uh, I, I have a, a couple of questions on my own, if there's none other from the audience. Um, so the, the first one, uh, just have you in general done any type of kin uh, kinetic analysis on these systems to look at like uh, how long you incubate the polymers for before hydrolysis to see the diversity of the products that occur there? And can you comment on that at all? Uh, kinetic progression of the reactions? Oh, the kinetic, oh, then, okay, it's a good question. Now we are exploring uh, this issue. Um, now uh, uh, we know that the production of uh, hydrogenide polymers is autocatalytic uh, process, but the, um, the reaction order is uh, so greater, uh, indicating a very, very complex system. Okay. And then have you considered spiking experiments with any of these products in that type of kinetic analysis where you would add perhaps a carbon labeled product, a uh, terrin? or uh, perhaps some of the uh, other products that you've observed to see where those labeled carbons might get shuffled to in this type of system. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. I don't know. All right, thank you. Uh, do we have any other questions from the audience? All right, so I guess let's uh, thank Marta again and then. Um, <laughs>